Hi. Just came back from a fantastic ride. The universe was there with me the entire time. It was like a triple decker manifestation platter that I had today on my ride. The other day, when I was out riding, I always get bothered by these buyomushi, and I have insect repellent on and everything like that, but they for some reason love my chemistry. I don't know, they don't bother Masaki that much. And they just fly around my face and drive me crazy. They don't get me on the arms and legs because I put the repellent on, and that's a good thing, but they don't go away from my face in the sweat. So yes, two days ago, I uh, spent some good time when I was riding up, being very present and everything like that, focusing on my breathing and being very aware and present. And I requested to the universe, that may sound weird, I'll explain in a minute. I requested to the universe that the maybe my body chemistry change or something like that so that these buyomushi, these tiny little gnats, don't bother me anymore. Well, today, when I went for a ride, they didn't bother me. They weren't even there. There was one. <laughs> one little one flitting around. But they were gone. And today was the perfect day with low breeze, warm weather, sweating and everything. They should have been all around me, but they weren't there. That was number one. The second thing that happened, this is pretty funny, I have to call this like a hilarious manifestation, is that I was riding along and um, thinking about the buyomushi and how they weren't bothering me, and also thinking about uh, my trip to the US and uh, how I've requested a business class upgrade. And I was also thinking, you know, you know, it is going to come. Maybe I just wasn't specific enough and even though I requested on this trip, maybe it'll be coming on another trip. And that's okay, you know. I mean, yeah, uh, I know it's going to happen and it's going to be there for me. I don't know whether it's going to be on this trip. I, I'm kind of expecting it is, but I'm very confident that it will happen when the universe delivers it. Right. Anyways, so I was doing that and riding along and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I just started you know, thanking the universe, thank you, um, I love you, I really appreciate you, and feeling it, and feeling my breathing, riding was going really smoothly, it was wonderful, really good. So, then I suddenly said to myself, you know, I haven't seen any animals in a long time, I would love to see some animals on this ride, well I saw a snake the other day, I'd like to see some mammals. And I look over to my left, and right there on the road, is a badger snuffling around, right there, right there beside me. Like, as soon as I said that, and looked down, the badger was there. I couldn't believe it. So I stopped, and I'm laughing. Of course, as soon as I stopped, the click sounded, and the badger ran off into the bush. But I, I'm like, where did that come from? You know, I'm riding along, and I say, I want to see some mammals, and there's a badger. Unbelievable. <laughs> I was laughing. I was laughing. So then, I'm riding along some more, just sort of like unbelievable. Thank you, universe. Thank you for this. It's a, you know, it's one of those unbelievable manifestations. And then I said, you know, I'd really like to see some more animals on this trip, some more mammals, maybe like a bear or, or I know hawks aren't mammals, but that's okay. A uh, hawk or maybe monkeys or wild boars or, or anything like that, you know. So I'm riding along, riding along, doing my thing. And then I come up to that spot that I talked about in my audio blog my camcast, the first landslide, okay, and there's some rocks there, and I thought to myself, hmm, I'm going to move these rocks, so I stopped, I looked to my right, and there's a cat there, right there, just sort of lying there, alive, looking at me, and as soon as I stop, it runs off, you know, down the road, but here I am 35 minutes into the mountains, and there's this cat right there, you know, like right there, when I stop, I couldn't believe it. Unbelievable. So I continued going on my ride and everything like that and I rode up and got to the second spot where I usually turn around these days faster than usual. Came down extremely aware, breathing, feeling good, focusing on my breath, on the sound of the tires, against the you know gravel and the ruts and the rocks and how the bike jitters and the sound of it and everything like that. My body is in tune with it and feeling the wind against me and it, it was fantastic. It was a fantastic ride. It was great. Wonderful. It was a triple decker manifestation. What else can I say? The only thing that would have made it wonderful is all of a sudden somebody would have appeared out of the bushes and said, Hello, Cam. Here's a plate of bacon. 
I mean, that would have been orgasmic. So anyways, what is this about these manifestations and universe and requesting and all this kind of funny stuff, right? You know, this new age wackhead stuff that I'm talking about. Well, I've talked about it in my blogs and I've been reviewing books and we have a lot of talks and the people in the blogs that I'm connected to about the universe and the powers that are there and, and how everything is connected and how we are connected to it, but we really don't realize it and how we can get back to being connected to it if we can be connected to ourselves. The first thing that got me going with this was this book, The Secret. It's a good book. I think it's better than the CD because CD you sort of watch, this thing you read little bit by little bit and you focus on it. This is a great book. This is where it all started and really got me thinking. And then I moved on to some other books, you know, like uh, I wanted to read Anger and the Indigo Child to learn a little bit about Indigo Child and uh, Four Noble Truths by the Dal Dalai Lama. This is an extremely boring book. Don't read this book if you don't have to. It's horrible. Boring. Very. I hear he's a great speaker, but this is bad. Then I went and got The Secret of the Ages by Robert Collier, written in 1922. And it's kind of like the predecessor to The Secret. This is sort of like... This is sort of like the um, you know, condensed version of, of this. But this is pretty amazing, written in the 1920s. And this goes into far more detail. It's got you know, 400 pages of, of cool, cool stuff. That's The Secret of the Ages by Robert Collier. Uh, if you don't, I'll put a list in at the end of the blog, at the end of this video, you can see. Um, after that, I went into reading... This came from, from Nancy, The Four Agreements Wisdom Book by... Don Miguel Ruiz. And this is a very, very good book. I really like this book. Recommend this one. Eckhart Tolle, A New Earth, Awakening to Your Life's Purpose. I thought it was kind of like a little bit weird in the beginning and it's a little bit weird at the end, but the more I started to think about this and f how he talks about focusing on your breath, they all talk about breath, 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 breath. Br breathing. Everything, every single one of these things focus on your breath. They talk about the breath. It's pretty amazing, actually. Uh, this is very interesting. This is probably one that has the biggest takeaway for me these days. Then Stephanie sent me this one, which is the Miracle of Mindness, Mindfulness, and I don't even know how to pronounce this guy's name. I'm not even going to guess, but he's pretty well known, if he's still alive. I don't know. But it's very, very cool. And again, he focuses on breathing. Very important. Focusing on your breath, being present, being aware of what's going on around you, and not letting your mind go off. Okay? And I just got this one. It arrived today by Louise Hay. You called You Can Heal Your Life. This is recommended to be my friend Abby. It's an awesome book. It's written a while ago, but they've redone it in all these amazing colors and pictures and, and everything. It's really, really cool. I'm excited. I'm going to read this on the flight to North America in two weeks, week and a half. Plus, in addition to this, I've been meditating using CDs by MindSpring Consulting. Um, and uh, if you wanted to check those out, you could go to helpingyougrow.com and take a look at what it's all about there. But again, he focuses on breathing and being present and being aware and creating a safe space in your mind. Now, that's not going to your happy place, okay? It, it's different. Uh, it's real. It's real. And they talk about how you can create a new reality and how what you think is fixed and firm and unmovable, kind of like the earth is flat and the sun revolves around the earth, you know? Um, we can change that. We can change our perspective and we can change the reality. And in the beginning it seems a little weird, all this kind of stuff, you know, new age whack head stuff. But, but after you start getting through this, studying it, I guess, and practicing, being mindful, being present, using certain tools. No, not those kind of tools, not these kind of tools, but tools in the mind. You can begin to affect your life and make it much more positive and fantastic. And that, my friends, is what those two animals 
up in the mountains we're all about today. I'm getting closer, much closer, to being able to request things from the universe and believe that they will be delivered to me in the shortest possible time according to the universe. Now I don't presume to know how it's going to get done. I don't presume to know when it's going to get done. But if I can create the existence, the presence that it is here in my mind and link that to the positive emotions, it gets delivered. What you do is you take your logical mind through relaxation and breathing and you create an image so vivid and so perfect that it is real in your mind. And then you pick the best possible emotions that can go with it. And when you take those emotions to your subconscious level, which only works on emotions, the subconscious mind picks that up. And then once you learn how to clear the path so that the subconscious and the superconscious can talk, that's when the job gets done. Subconscious takes that imagery, takes that reality, because it doesn't know past, it doesn't know present, it doesn't know future, okay, all it knows is emotions, and it just takes it and links it and sends it off to the superconscious, which then is connected to the universe or to God or however you want to look at it. And if you believe it, and if you can picture it, so perfectly in your mind and realize that you have it right now and you are living it and those emotions that go with living it are so strong and so powerful and they are connected and open and free flowing then you'll get it. Give it a try. It's not easy. It's not easy, but when you start getting little things, they get more and more and more, and you believe in them more often, and it starts to make more sense. And it works more. I know there are people out there. I know that some of you out there know what I'm talking about. Some of you think I'm just nuts crazy, right? I went off the deep end, right? Hit my head on a bike ride today, and there we go. I'm gone. Now, okay, think whatever you want to think. I know. Now, finally, after lots of hard work, that it's real. You can create your future the way you want it and it won't be random and it won't be screwing you and it won't be messing with your mind and it won't be somebody else making it all, making all the bucks. It can be you having whatever you want now.